Hello guys, you can be curious what is hidden behind these beauty screenshots and you don't know how useful this asset pack can be for your Unreal project. And especially for you, I made this video to show what is inside. First of all, I would like to tell you more about pipeline which I have chosen for creating assets for this package. You may know such games as Star Citizen, Or, for example, Doom Eternal, where they are using really good technique for creating science fiction assets with face weighted normal meshes and different decals. This approach has a lot of advantages. And first of all, it's faster set production because you don't need to bake any additional maps, you don't need to go to Substance Painter every time when you want to add like new asset, new object to your scene. You just need to have the prepared set of decals and prepared set of procedural materials inside of Unreal Engine 4. The next part is easy to change and customize because you can customize any existing asset almost in no time. You just can add new details, so you can move vertices, so then export it to Unreal Engine and receive completely new assets. Next, small amount of textures. For example, for Jupyter project I have only 18 textures and you can even reduce this number, so up to 9 or so. And with this approach you can create really big scenes like ships in Star Citizen and you don't need to care about the texture size and other scenes and still you receive really big quality of assets. So it looks like you have for example 4K map for this piece and it looks really great and you can create like 10 times bigger asset and still with these decals it will look fine. But we are not living in magic world and this approach has also some cons. And we have bigger asset polycon because of these bevels. It just how it works. We need these bevels to have these face weight normals, to have these beauty edges and some procedural effects on the materials. More important question is that we have more draw calls. For example, for this element we have four materials, it means four draw calls and it's like a lot if we count the whole level. But this question is easy solvable and further I'll tell you how to optimize the scene. In the package you can find a huge variety of elements, inner corners, outer corners, different walls, different sizes which uh, can use for creating interior and exterior levels. All the walls, floors and ceilings, they are optimized and one-sided. Also, every element has top side for top-down uh, top games. Every element has manually made collisions. And we have really good naming. For example, we need to cover this 4 by 2 space. Uh, you just need to type 4, x2, and you can see uh, the big variety of elements to cover this space. The best thing is that you can modify every element and you can do it easily, because you have inside of your content folder, you have archive with FBX meshes and textures, so you have all the sources and all of them is easy to modify. Inside of every FBX file you have custom collisions. For people who want to create new elements, I included special FBX file with the decals. Decals and materials. First of all, I would like to show you info decals. All these decals share the same texture. Also, we can control different parameters such as emissive, and wear intensity. 
Also, if you place these decals over other surfaces, you can notice that we have 3D noise, so it's really easy and handy to place. A bit higher you can see two sets of different decals, and they were used for adding details for our meshes, and you can use these decals for producing new meshes, so actually it's the core of this technique with different decals. If you are using VR, I would recommend you to turn off the parallax exclusion mapping for both materials. I created special procedural master materials to cover all your needs in base materials. So here you can see a huge variety of surfaces which you can create with this base material. And here you can find also a lot of settings. And most interesting settings are connected with wear effect because you can extract this information from face weight normals to add procedural wear on edges. A bit higher you can see a set of glass materials with a big variety of parameters. You can customize your assets easily just by drag and drop any material on the mesh. I created different blueprint assets, such as a cable set, where you can find a variety of different cables, where you can control support meshes and space between them, openable grates, automatic doors, some animated objects, but most of all I like smart lights. What does it mean, smart lights? So it means that if you place this blue green asset on your level, you have lights inside of this asset. So and you can control light on this light source and on the emissive material simultaneously. It's a good time to talk more about optimization, because as we know, every mesh has more than three materials and means more than three draw calls, and we have a lot of static meshes in the scene. And here we have two ways. The first way is to combine smaller pieces into bigger pieces. And you can do it inside Unreal Engine 4, always using any external 3D editor. And the second way is using instances. It's not very good out of the box, and that's why I would recommend you to buy the plugin which is called Instance Tool, and it will make your life much easier. And with using instances, you can reduce the number of draw calls from thousands to hundreds. Let's have a look at the level. I have spent a lot of time to show you the variety of possible combinations which you can create with using this modular kit. You can create unique rooms, smooth transitions between them. As you can notice, we have some kind of verticality and it works really well. Also, you can add your own elements with using decals materials. I am going to create some extensions with props, but if you need some unique scenes now, you can contact me. Also, if you have any questions, you can ask them below in the comments. Thanks for watching.